Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today, we're going to be doing a day in the life, a summer day in the life, and this will be the last summer day in the life that you guys see because we will be starting back to our homeschool year very, very soon, and I am more than ready. My kids, some of them will say they're ready. Some of them say they're not ready, but I can tell by their behavior they are ready. So we are anxious to get started, but we've been waiting for good reason, which I'll share a little bit more with you guys here in a minute. But I wanna thank World Watch News for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Um, if you've watched any of my content through our homeschooling years, you have seen me start our day every single day with World Watch News. And so I'm gonna share more about them with you, but I want to tell you guys right now, the offer that I have down below is the best offer that I have seen come from World Watch News. It is four months for free. So that's gonna give you like almost half of your school year for free. Um, and my code and link is down below for that. So um, more on World Watch here in a minute. I have not even made my bed, it's morning. Just the kids are up I've been making everybody wake up a little bit sooner trying to you know make that transition a little bit easier for everyone um, but uh, I had breakfast had my coffee so now I'm upstairs I am going to make my bed and kind of straighten up my room I've got a lot of random things today um, so I actually am going to like shower and get myself together um, I got some new makeup that I figured I would share with you guys in this vlog. I ordered some fall clothes because I cleaned out my closet hugely and, um, and there were just a few things that I've been wanting for years, um, that I keep putting off and trying to find Amazon dupes for and then I don't like the Amazon dupe the quality is not the same and then I'm annoyed with myself that I didn't even just get the real real deal to begin with so I need to try on a few things um just we're gonna be around the house we're gonna be around the house um because the reason why I haven't started back to homeschooling here I need to set you guys down The reason why I haven't started back to our homeschool year yet is because my sister-in-law is pregnant with baby number three. I've mentioned this on Instagram, but I don't know if I mentioned it here. I think I did actually in the last vlog. Anyway, because she was due on August the 20th, it's actually her due date the day that I am filming this. Um, I didn't want to start our homeschool year and then instantly have to take three, four days off um, to stay at their house with my nephews and their dogs. Um, and so if, if she was having the baby in January, it would have been no big deal. I would have just taken time off, no sweat. But since it was August, like literally within a week to two weeks after starting our homeschool year, I didn't want to have that break happen like when we were just gaining momentum. So I elected not to start, but we very much have been ready to start um, and like wanting that, um, you know, discipline and focus of our days to begin again, like there's only so much free time that people need. <laughs> um, and so anyways, we've done all the things we've, we've traveled, we've had vacations, we did camps, we had lazy pool days we've done random little house projects and cleaning things but we've all been waiting for this baby to make her arrival and as of today she she's still not here so every day i'm kind of on pins and needles waiting for my sister-in-law to call me to come over and so i really haven't been able to plan anything like fun with my kids because every day i don't know if i'm gonna need to go over there so that has been like what's going on um also yesterday no two nights ago sunday night it's tuesday when i'm filming this um i broke two of my toes i talked about it on instagram it was the most pain one of the most painful things that i've ever done um long story short i was walking from our couch and my foot got caught on the leg of our couch uh, because I was looking at my son and two of my toes went like this and the rest of my foot went this and I was walking fast. 
Um, we heard a loud crack. I collapsed <laughs> and made some type of animalistic sound that I was not in control of. It just came out of my body and my toes were black and blue and swollen within an hour. Um, so yeah, that hasn't been fun. So I won't be working out today because I still cannot put hardly any weight on my foot. And because I've been walking weird now, my heel is bothering me. So yeah, not super fun with that. Um, and then also tonight. So tonight we, we have our um, informational meeting for the homeschool group at our church. We've been a part of that group mm, the last four years, three, four years. Um, very low maintenance group. Um, it, we, it's, it's been, you know, we've gone on some field trips. We've done a couple things, but it's definitely not something that like takes over our homeschool. Um, and so anyways, this year they asked me if I would teach an apologetics class. <laughs> and my initial reaction to that was like, it's my daughter's senior year. I really don't feel like I can't have the time for that. Like emotionally, I just don't know if this is the year that I do extra things. And then the more that I thought about it and prayed about it, um, I just felt like the Lord was wanting me to use what he has graciously taught me and shown me over the past like five years since I really started digging into Christian apologetics and teaching my kids Christian apologetics uh, with the homeschool group. So tonight is the informational meeting for like the families to rejoin and the new people. So I have yesterday I worked on like typing up an informational sheet and like kind of I just wanted to clearly communicate like this is not going to be a class that you pop in and out of, you know, like it's going to build on each other. And so I really wanted to communicate, like make a commitment, let your yes be your yes. Um, quite frankly, one of the stereotypes that I have seen um, when it comes to homeschoolers is they're very flaky and flighty. And that is not me. And I also don't think that, you know, the scripture tells us, let our yes be our yes and let our no be our no. So, you know, when we say yes to something, we're to honor that commitment. Now, of course, life happens, things happen. I get it. But what I'm saying is, is I have seen like in homeschooling um, that there is a tendency for people to really have like no regard for other people's time no regard for the amount of preparation that goes into things. They come like late. They bring, you know, they're, it's just like the freedom that homeschool has given them has completely like <laughs> destroyed or neglected any thought of like being punctual or be honoring your commitments. And so I've just seen that be kind of a problem with like homeschoolers as a whole as I've looked on things like outwardly. And so I really wanted to do a good job of communicating the commitment level. Um, and, and maybe the commitment level, I've communicated it so well that it's going to detour people from joining the class, which is not my intent. But anyway, I was stewing on that last night and I'm like, you know, it's just, it needs to be said, you know, it needs to be said that you cannot come with your younger siblings and sit in the classroom. Like we're going to have it at church. So that just won't work. And like, if you're going to be late, you need to let me know, you know, like I have Four kids myself and so I think sometimes people don't think about that so anyways I need to go to that informational meeting tonight and kind of share about the class share about the book that we're gonna use um, we're using a Ken Ham book called foundations our church our pastor's wife actually had it already and wanted someone to use it and teach it so um, thankfully our church is very pro homeschooling very very blessed by that so that's what I need to do tonight so I do need to get ready for that um, and so that's what I'll be doing but I've got a bunch of little random things that we're gonna do around here I need to work on my daughter's dance solo with her so we're gonna be doing that um, and really we're just waiting each day to find out if baby niece is making her arrival so 
Um, first things first, I'm going to make my bed, but I wanted to chat with you guys, give a little update about what's going on. This will be the last vlog you see or day in the life for summertime because we will be back to school. So, oh, the other thing. Um, so I told you guys we've been ready to start back to school for a few weeks. Um, and even though my kids are like, oh no, I love free time. Some of my kids love free time. Some of my kids like to have, you know, sh more routine and structure and like purpose to their days. Um, but one thing that I started doing was I brought back basically our morning routine. So doing World Watch News and reading a read aloud together um, and reading some Bible together. So we've been doing that. We started it last week. So this is the second week that we've been doing that. And uh, we just were needing to start something. So that's kind of been like an anchor point in the mornings. So um, yeah, that's been helpful. I've actually never done like a soft launch of our homeschool year before we've always just kind of been um, we start and we start with all the things, but because of this year with my niece being born and just everybody needing to get back to doing something on a daily basis, uh, we decided to do that and that's been good. So we're going to do that as well. But first I'm going to make my bed and get myself together and then we'll do our little reading time. The kids are doing their chores. Um, I redid everybody's chore charts for the school year. My kids get the same chores for an entire school year. Uh, and I redid those a few weeks ago. I shared that, I think, on Instagram. Um, and yeah, so that is a little bit of what's going on. But I'm going to make my bed and then hop in the shower. And we will see where this Tuesday takes us. So I wanted to share with you guys some new products that I got from Merit. You guys are always asking me about my makeup and how I get like the dewy, moisturized, youthful look even as I get closer to 40. And I discovered Merit um, a few months ago, but I absolutely love everything I've tried from them. They're a clean beauty brand, but most importantly, their stuff works so good. So whenever I find a company that I love their cosmetics for, I will wait until I run out of like my previous foundation and then I'll order the new like foundation that I want from the new company. So that's what I did here. Um, they just launched their Great Skin Priming Moisturizer and Glow Serum. And this brush right here is a game changer as well. Um, I'll link all of these down below for you guys, but I'll show you once I get ready how good it is because this is what gives you the moisture and the glow. And then this your foundation stick from them. This is in the shade Linen. That works well for me, um, but it is concealer and foundation in one, and they have a whole thing about like a five-minute makeup routine, and so as I run out of like my brow serum and all of that, I'm going to just move everything over because I'm so impressed. I love their flesh balm that I have. Um, I love everything I've tried. So, I wanted to share that with you guys. I'll leave a link down below. The, this is not sponsored by them, but the link does give you guys, I think, like a discount or a gift, like an extra product. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll put down there what it does, but uh, yeah, definitely, definitely love, 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 and love. All right, I took a shower. Felt really good. <laughs> um, you know, like a good shower where you have some time. Um, so it was hair washing day, so I'm going to do that in a second, but I wanted to share with you guys. So I get asked a lot about like makeup, skincare, that kind of stuff. And, um, I've learned some things. And so if I had to narrow it down to like the most important things to do for your skin as you get older to keep like a fresh glowy look to your makeup if you like that. I, I'm not a fan of the porcelain doll like I doused myself in powder look. Then my biggest tips, no matter what kind of skin you have, whether it's oily, combination, anything, you need a thick, 
nighttime moisturizer. So before bed, you're putting on a thick moisturizer to keep your skin super hydrated. And then in the morning before you do makeup, you need a thin moisturizer, okay, like a thin um, moisturizer before you do makeup, and you need a gl like glowy type serum. So that's what these two things are from Merit. Um, this is the glow serum, this is the priming moisturizer. Um, one of these products just launched recently and it's probably gonna sell out, but I'll link it down below. So we are going to do our uh, moisturizer with the Great Skin Serum. Massage two pumps into the skin, follow immediately with your next step before the moisturizer dries. So that's important. So we're just gonna do like that much and we're gonna put it all over, get really good under your eyes and then bring it down the neck. There's a fancy name for this, the decolletage or whatever. It's a weird word. Um, and then the glow serum after this, shake well, massage two to three pumps onto skin before or after moisturizer. So we're gonna do that. One, two, okay. So this is liquidy. And then that is gonna go all over the face, okay. so. Now my skin is hydrated, so when I put my makeup on, it's not gonna suck into my skin. Um, so yeah, a thick moisturizer, a thin moisturizer, and some kind of serum for the morning, and, 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 cream products. So that's why I wanted to switch over to this. So this is their, um, this is in the shade Linen, and this is to be foundation and, Concealer so um, a little bit goes a long way. I've been told so we are just gonna Put it where I normally would It glides on so smooth So like if you don't like a ton of makeup on your skin, which I do not I am NOT a thick foundation girl Then you will love this um, And then you take your brush and you blend and it, this brush is so soft and it works so well. You guys know I'm a beauty blender girl, but this brush works so much better <laughs> for um, blending out the stick from Merit. So we're gonna get a nice moisturized skin and then we'll go in with a little bit of bronzer because I am a little tan like more tan right now, obviously it's summertime. So in the summer, I just add bronzer, you know, like I don't buy multiple shades. I try to find one that's kind of in the middle. In the winter, I'll kind of cool it down. And in the summer, I'll warm it up with bronzer, so. So here's what my skin is looking like before I put anything else on. As you can see, I already have that really nice, like radiance, really nice glow to my skin, which is what I love. See how it's like dewy and moisturized? You guys, I'm telling you, thick moisturizer, thin moisturizer, serum and cream products, and it will change the way your skin looks and how you feel about yourself as you age. It's a game changer and I love Merit's products, so I'll link them down below, but I wanted to share some new good beauty finds with you. This is another Merit product, I already mentioned this, this is the Beauty Balm in Beverly Hills, or Flush Balm, sorry. Love this stuff. All right guys, so I wanted to show you one of the things that I was gonna try on, I decided to wear it today. Um, this adorable romper from Free People. I know rompers are not everyone's thing, but they are definitely mine. I got this in a medium, and it is so cute, so comfy, amazing quality. You can totally wear a long sleeve under it, or you can wear it without anything under it. I just love it. So many colors. The back has um, a tie back, so it's got a cute detail back there, but this is what I'm gonna wear today. It was one of the things I wanted to try on, but I went ahead and just put it on now anyway. So 
before I brush out my curls, <laughs> I'm gonna put my favorite shade from Merit on my lips. This is in the color Ginger, and it is so, so pretty. So the rest of what I got was this um, oversized, just like long sleeve. I got an orange one, I wanna say three years ago, and it's one of my most worn <laughs> pieces of clothing. So I grabbed that. I need to try this on. I couldn't, um, I think I got a small. And then I got this lace long sleeve. I'm obviously going to wear something under it, but I think I'm going to wear this for family photos. And then I just loved this color of this blush, like mock turtleneck type top with the long, with the sleeve detailing. I love the ribbed look and I got a new pair of jeans, but I'm not going to try those on today. Um, so really, I know these shirts will fit. It's mostly this. So let's see how this looks. All right, the small fits me great. So um, I know free people is not everybody's style, but I absolutely love it. I love rolling these sleeves, wearing these over all different kinds of tops. Um, just so comfy. And the orange one that I have, I loved it so much. I like really almost wore it out. Very few pieces of my clothing do I wear out. I would not wear it with this, but with something, jeans, a shirt under it, just love it. So I already shared with you guys that World Watch News is sponsoring a segment of today's video, and I wanted to just chat with you guys about World Watch. For those of you who have never heard of them, or you might be wondering like, what is the importance of that? Just kind of chat with you guys about World Watch News, why we love it, why it's so important. So uh, back in about 2020 was when I discovered World Watch News and it was something that I was really looking for, um, something to incorporate daily, up-to-date current events, but obviously not burdening my children with the weight of the world while simultaneously only giving them fact-based reporting, not any um, political bias, and most importantly of all, is the fact that it's presented from a Christian worldview. So World Watch News really filled something that I was really desiring to implement into my homeschool. I was even thinking about gathering my own articles and just kind of presenting my kids with some current events each and every day. There's so many, so many reasons why it is important to keep your children engaged in the events of the world, while also making sure that they are understanding and viewing things all through their biblical worldview lens. But one of the main reasons why I have such a passion for sharing World Watch News is because you might think that your kids are not paying attention to what's going on. They're not noticing. Probably a lot of you, uh, like our household, don't have cable TV. So you think your children are not hearing news, they're not hearing about things going on in our world, but I am here to tell you they are. They're hearing it in different places, they're seeing it in the checkout aisle at the grocery store, their friends who may attend public school are talking about it with them, they are hearing it on commercial breaks, on the Christian radio station that you listen to in the car. They are being informed and your kids are being informed by the world, by the culture. So if we do nothing to counteract that, then our children are being informed about the world, about issues that we're facing in the United States and globally from the world rather than from you or from a trusted source like World Watch News. So it really doesn't matter how young your kids are. Of course, I'm not talking about toddlers here, but I'm talking about just there is no wrong age to start engaging in those conversations, start presenting your kids with some information and teaching them how to think critically about what is going on in our world. Not to mention children naturally have a very myopic view of the world. It's like what is going on in front of them and maybe in your neighborhood is really all that they think about. So I love that World Watch News challenges my kids to think globally about different issues. Some of the stories are, you know, a little more um, 
heavy and some of them are awesome like really great things that are happening completely on the other side of the world world watch news does a such a good job at balancing that so it is super digestible for your kids and honestly for you world watch has become where i get the majority of my news from and i'm so so grateful they package all of that up in about a 10 minute segment there's funny stories feel good stories positive stories but there's also current events and you know factual things that are happening that the world watch news team carefully puts together every episode is different and it only takes about 10 minutes and then if you want to discuss um, I would highly recommend that as well. So we absolutely love World Watch News. Like I said, we've been watching it in our home since 2020. It's how we start our homeschool day every single day. And it's just grown in importance as my kids have grown older. We, they have questions, they hear about things, we wanna have discussions, we want to uh, use our critical thinking skills through the lens of our biblical worldview and World Watch News is a huge component in how I've been able to do that with all of my kids. So if you guys want to check out World Watch News, I have such a generous offer to give you guys. It's going to give you basically almost half of your homeschool year for free um, to watch it. So it's four months free plus a seven day trial. And all you have to do is click the link that is down below and enter code Ashley4 at checkout and that will automatically get you that four months for free plus that seven day trial. Now I do have to tell you guys, I think this offer is only available for new um, subscribers to World Watch News. So check it out. You will be blessed, your children will be blessed, and I guarantee you it will result in some fruitful, meaningful conversations in your home. We start ours in the morning. You could do it on lunch break, you could do it before bed, you could do it whenever you want, but that's just the way that we use it, and it has been such a blessing. So thank you so much, World Watch, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. All right, I am all ready now, so we are going to head downstairs. We are going to watch World Watch News now. Uh, like I told you guys, we have been um, getting back into that rhythm and routine and uh, reading a little bit of a read aloud and then we'll be on to the next task for the day. I also want to take the time today because we are going to be starting our new homeschool year very soon um, to kind of go over um, kind of like my orientation like does anyone have any questions we're gonna go over all of that so that's what we're gonna do next rice bowls, so of course we don't like them a robo taxi taken by one reporter for this story right, right. cost only five bucks for a 30-minute ride here's an update for you last year world watch report against the Germans in the Great War in Europe. Alice Miller had now turned her attention to making Belle a socially fit young woman. It had surprised Belle when her mother signed her up for speech classes and dancing lessons, but Belle did not complain. They were much more fun than singing gospel songs at the rescue mission, and for whatever reason, her mother thought that it was the next step for Belle. At so these are the two books that we are starting off with for morning basket time, just alternating daily um, doing these. So a missionary story, and then this is our first um, like biblical book that we're reading aside from doing Bible study. So I'll just alternate between these two, um, and both very good. No! <laughs> you get grades on your vocabulary quizzes, you get grades on the conversation cards, and you get grades on the test. Is this bubble play? Okay, so that's how you sign in. But usually on your dashboard, it will show you like right here, the lesson and assignment for that day. Sometimes it gets a little off, like if we don't do BJU or we skip a day or we take a break, but you just always do the next one, which will be right there. So you sign in like that. Okay, what are these for? Hey, I'm 
find out, it will tell you what needs to be completed each day, and it'll tell you the certain thing that you need. Does it give instructions? So see what No, it just doesn't tell you anything. Yeah, the video tells you how to do it. So see, this would be used on day four. So on day four, you would want to take this out and do it. And then I, I have to grade it. And then day five, you do this one. So see, there's not a handout for every day, but the te it'll say use handout, and then that's where you'll get it. Okay. So I finished um, helping my youngest daughter with her solo. It's really hot still outside, so we could only spend about 45 minutes, but practicing every day with her. Um, and so I came in to make some lunch. I have a plate of nutrition here. Just chicken, a little bit of feta cheese, um, some sunflower seeds, and I'm out of salad dressing. I need to place a grocery order. So I'm gonna use this balsamic glaze and add a little bit of hummus and we'll call that lunch for today. All right, I'm sitting down now um, to kind of put the last little touches on our on my cart. Um, I kind of just toss things in here as I received them and now that we're um, just a few days out from starting back to school, uh, I kind of want to think about what I want to start with. I also got uh, four of these. So they're hardcover. This, these are New Morning Mercies for Teens, a daily gospel devotional by um, Paul David Tripp. And they have some really great um, endorsements on the back and uh, just seems like a really good thing. It's definitely dedicated to teenagers, where their brains are at, what they're thinking. It does have like the dates at the top, but if we were gonna start it, cause it starts January 1st, I would just go ahead and start it whenever we were gonna start it. So I wouldn't worry about that, but it's just like a daily reading, like a devotional reading. And then at the end, um, it has a reflection question based on what they read. So I really, I mean, obviously I haven't done all of them, but I did get four. Here's the other three for my kids. Um, just because I thought it looked really good and I read the reviews and stuff and I wanted something for them to just do like their own daily devotional time on and kind of something new to change it up a little bit. Um, but I do have also their daily gratitude journals, a one minute gratitude journal that I got. These ones are very simple. It is literally today is the date and then three blessings to count and three ways to bless other people. So this truly should take them no longer than five minutes. 
So we have these that we're definitely going to start our year with. And then I did get a few not consumed studies. This one right here is on a content heart. And obviously when we think about contentment, we often think about material possessions. And yes, we should be contentment with or have contentment with our material possessions. But sometimes as your kids get older, there needs to be some contentment in whatever season they're in in their life or whatever their situation is. And so I was thinking about starting with this one and I think I probably will. So I think I'm going to start with these ones first. Maybe I'll do both because these are pretty, these aren't that long. I don't know. I'm like really undecided because they're both so good, but I really want to do the content, um, contentment. It goes through each different things like my situation, my finances, my school, my family, my place, my rights, my abilities, my appearance. Uh, it defines what contentment is. It talks about poverty. So definitely going over all of the different areas that we need to be content in our lives with. So I don't know. I'm kind of undecided on what I'm going to do with these, but I just got these books yesterday and I really like them. So now I'm trying to fit a way to or find a way to um, correspond it, or put them in. I mean, there's no such thing as too much Bible study. <laughs> but I probably will just hold off on doing these until we get through the content heart studies first. So I'm probably going to do these two things for Bible or their individual Bible time. And then we will read the books that I showed you guys earlier. So I'm going to open up all of the studies that way they're ready to go. And um, I think that's what we're going to start with. And then I have some other things in here that I definitely want to get to this year that I'm hoping I can. I've got tons of books in this cart, <laughs> so we'll see. I can take you anywhere, somewhere. We won't be scared. You will see me fly now. Staring into your blue eyes. So I, like many of you, am probably, ex let me restart that. I, like many of you, most likely, am very ready for fall, and I have not decorated for fall. I am holding out for September, but I did put a few little touches out just because I bought them new and I thought I'm not going to put them away for a month and then bring them out. So I thought I would share with you guys some fun fall finds in this video um, for your house. So I'm going to just show you a few little things. I am going to do a full like fall um, clean and decorate with me video, but I will put that in my membership. So if you would like to see that, that's where last year's went to. It's over there, which is always linked below. But let me show you guys what I um, put out so far. All right, so I have a new table runner here that I got on clearance at Target. And then I got this vase with these artificial stems in it. I love these. I showed these in a haul recently, but I wanted to show you guys how it looks. I'm still finishing burning Georgia Peach from Antique Candle, but trust and believe that I have all of my fall scents on hand ready to go. Um, and then Another new thing that I got is this wreath. I actually got this from Michael's. I loved the combination of greenery with just the natural tones. I liked that it had, I think these, we want to call these walnuts instead of pumpkins. So I just loved the look of that. I feel like it's fall and not like Halloween-ish. So I really loved that. I need to fill my fruit bowl, but I got this bowl off of Amazon. It is so, it's really good quality. You can use this for a ton of different things, but I switched out my like summery fruit bowl for this one just because I think it's nice to have the gray tones added in for fall. This has nothing to do with fall, but I did get some new cafe curtains from Amazon that I really, really like. Um, and I think they go well with all of the fall decor to come. 
And then over here, I got one of these little coffee cup um, stands from, this is Hearth in Hand, and then they had these like little stems, which I thought was super, super cute. I also grabbed these Sweet Lauren's gluten-free, dairy-free, allergen-free pumpkin spice cookies from Target. And let me tell you guys, these are delicious. Go to Target, buy a bunch, freeze them. They're so good and really, I mean, delicious. We made them the other night because I couldn't wait and they're really, really good. I am also not a coffee creamer girl, but I have to tell you guys that I love putting a little bit of this in my iced espresso in the afternoon. Um, this is the non-dairy one, the pumpkin spice one. I use the tiniest touch and I love it. I love it. You can see the bottle's almost gone. I need to get another one. Also found this at Target, but it's really, really Hello, good. Hello, Sai. Hello, Mr. Guy. Come on. Wanna come out? Put your hand back in there, Caleb. See, we're luring him. Sing him a little song like a snake. <laughs> so that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog, the last summer day in the life um, on my channel because we will be back to homeschooling very soon. Don't forget to take advantage of the offer from World Watch News that will be down below for you guys, that four months free, plus a seven day trial. So four months and seven days for free. Amazing. Don't forget to use the code. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up before you go and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.